Today I'm going to explain how one could create a link table in ClickSense. This problem arose from a recent conversation I had with a customer. This customer had a fact table, which is what you're seeing here. And in their fact table, they had multiple date fields. So they had, you know, in this case, I'm using order date. So let's say you have a product, the product's ordered in some date, that's an order date. The product's also shipped on some date. There's maybe some invoice date when the it's added to the ledger. And also maybe when the product finally arrives. So for a particular order ID, which we have here, we have all these multiple dates that can be applied to this. And the question the customer had is, and I'm going to flip to a different screen, is how could I answer questions, for example, comparing and an orders invoice to an order shipped. And this is where the idea of a link tables actually comes about. So I'm going to show you how easy that is to do and click. Uh, I've already written the code. So what I've done here is first, I brought in a fact table, as you can see, and then the this table, in my case, I'm making up mocked up data. So I only had order date. And I use this value to create all the other dates you see, ship date, invoice date, and arrival date, right? It's very important to use a floor function here because if you don't, the, the date fields won't associate to each other. And now to apply the link table, uh, what I do is and I'm gonna show you how easy that is to do, is for each date calendar, I'm gonna create uh, uh, this link table date link where I am still using the order ID as my key, but I'm gonna bring in every other date and then I'm going to assign the type for each date. So as you remembered, I had an order date, shipped date, invoice date, and arrival date. And now I can bring all these dates and then assign their type. And what this is gonna have, what this is gonna do is gonna create an entirely new table, which is called the link table, that's gonna have all the dates for all my values, right? And now I will. I can also then use, you know, set analysis to pretty much do computations on just the arrival date, for example. And you're gonna see how easy that is to do. So if I load this, um, all I've done is below this. So I bring in the link table, bring in all these values, ship date, invoice date, and the type as date. I relate in my master calendar where I'm creating my master calendar and I have a date field that encompasses all my dates. And if I hit load, let me show you what this new uh, data model looks like. So all that's loaded. Remember in the original table, we only had two tables linked here. Now we're going to see three right now. We have the orders table again with those four dates, order date, so on and so forth ship date, invoice date, and so forth. Now we have this link table, and this is what I was talking about, right? Where I'm linking by the order ID to the fact table, and I'm linking by a date to the master calendar. And now it's super easy to do those calculations we were talking about. So if I come in here, so in the top, I was trying to show an example of how could I, for example, plot on the same bar for a, every particular month for each order, we might want to know what orders were invoiced that month, uh, month year, and what orders were shipped. Now it's hard to do it using just a regular table, uh, using the old model, but now with the link table, super simple to do. So I'm gonna drop the same charts to the bottom. And now I wanna check this by month year. And I want to compare, let's say the number of orders invoiced in that in the particular month here and the uh, number of orders shipped. And now I'm going to do this using simple set analysis. So I know that I have the dates type already. So I can say count. And for those that know for set analysis, and here I'm going to specify that I want, let's say invoice because I have this as a type already. If you remember here in my date types, I have these already selected. So I can 
go down on just the invoice date, for example, or the arrival date. And I'm going to count this by order ID. Done. Now, this is going to give me a bar chart that just has the counts by order ID. I might want to sort this so it's sorted by month, year. Right now, I can compare in a, you know for that particular month year how many values were how many orders were invoiced invoiced versus let me duplicate this. I don't have to redo my work. Let's say shipped. Right, pretty straightforward. Now I can go in here and write it in. Super powerful. Now you see how this is slightly different and to even further expound on what's going on, I can create some filters so we can really see what's going on. First, you see the filters for the year has been added as well as month. Next, I'm going to add some KPIs for both the invoiced and shipped so we can see the count of orders invoiced versus orders shipped for any combination of month year. And this is really to emphasize the power of the link table. As you can see, 441 items shipped versus invoiced and so forth. Thank you.